So you don't always have to play one five one for a bass line every single time. You can actually stretch out and play and experiment with some other notes. So I wanted to create a real life scenario for you guys. I'm in the key of B major. So very simple progression, four, three, six, two. Very simple, very common progression. So instead of playing the four to the three, I played four, open nine, one five nine and then the inversion to the one chord. So because that relationship between those two chords is just a half step, it sounds so pretty. So you can actually play that one five nine arpeggiated movement as a replacement to the one five one. The play one five nine it gives it a little bit more flair a little bit more you know just a little bit more interesting to play so one five nine it's just easy to make that movement it's very very subtle but you'll be surprised how much of a difference it makes inside of your bass lines so something simple like that and also you can actually play that one five nine and be safe to play it because you can play that with all sorts of different voicing so you can play it with a minor voicing you can play it with a major voicing or you, you can play with a minor voicing as well. It still works because you have the one, the five, and the nine, which is technically the two, if you lower the octave. So the one, the two, most times, it's gonna remain the same in most chords. The, it, the two is rarely used in a chord anyway, so the two most times never changes. Uh, the nine uh, changes sometimes, but most times you'll have a nine, and in the minor nine chord, in a major nine chord, you actually change the seventh note instead of the ninth note. But if you haven't seen the chords course, I wouldn't expect you to know that. But if you want to see the chords course, I strongly suggest that you do. Go take a look at that inside of the academy. It lets you know all of these rules and you know regulations that you have to use when playing chords. But anyway, so the nine most times stays the same unless you have a something, something like a C major flat nine chord. But the nine usually stays the same. So you have one, five, nine, and you can Stay pretty safe with that. So the other way you can do that. So it actually, that sounds so pretty. With that major nine to the inversion of the B major. So if you guys, uh, on top of that, if you don't know what inversions are, I don't want to spend too much time on inversions. I'm playing the same exact chord. Just the notes are split up in another chord. That's all it is. My root note is different. So I have a B flat, G flat, and an E flat. And then for the inversion, I have an E flat, B, and G flat here. So I'm using the same exact chord, it's just different root notes. Okay, so that was our quick inversion lesson. Anyway, let's get back to the topic at hand. This just sounds so beautiful. Let me add some. Uh... Oh, wow. That wasn't it. <laughs> Even though it sounded pretty cool. And there's so many things that you can do with those two different chords and you can actually play the three chord instead of the inversion of the one chord when playing that so i have e is my four and then my inversion of the one chord is there or i can keep it four three four and a minor seven on top of that you see that tension that that holds down same exact thing right so now you might be asking what does that have to do with the bass line but when you're playing the bass line it has everything to do with it so when you're playing the bass line you can actually utilize that nine chord or that movement the one five nine See how I use the same exact movement. So, so many different possibilities as you can do. It depends on what the chord is being played 
on at the time, but you can be pretty safe playing the one five and the nine. So just one little small little tip that I can give you guys in a you know, real life situation when you're playing a groove like this. I've played grooves like this so many times before, uh, even in during this, you know, holiday season. If you're watching this during this time, it's Christmas Eve uh, right now the t at this time. Um, but it'll probably be it'll probably be like the 26th or the 27th when you see this. Anyway, <laughs> it's the holiday season regardless. So um, a lot of songs have the same type of progression. And I just want to give you a tip that you can use in your everyday playing. If you guys are new here and you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit that red subscribe button. Also give it a thumbs up if you want to. Either one actually helps the channel out a lot. Uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this holiday season. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know below. Also, click that notification, click the notification bell icon so you get notified of every single lesson we put up. There was not one that went out last week and that was on me. Sorry about that. But every single week, lessons coming out. Uh, make sure you know so come out clean, clear, and precise. Hopefully this is something of value to you that you can use and utilize in your playing every day.